Like, don't at me. Space Jam 2. So, Space Jam 2, to me, is kind of like a... Well, first of all, what'd you think of the movie? Let's talk about the movie itself, critically review it, you know, we don't have to spend time talking about Grammy or, you know, Oscar nominations and shit like that, but what'd you think, and then we'll kind of talk about Big Picture. I just feel as if it was too cheesy, too kid-based, because you gotta think as if back in the days when Space Jam 1 was made, or whatever Space Jam, people were kind of tougher, you would say. You could get away with a lot more, you know, like jokes, humor, like uh, unsaid things that people just commonly know. So you're trying to just appeal to an audience. And then on top of that, animation is like CGI. What, made, what makes Looney Tunes is its animation. It's its cartoon characteristics. Right. But when you strip that away and you just use your computer generated image, it's just it takes away the value, I feel. Yeah, maybe like the, the origin, right? Like where it came from. Maybe and that just deals with our age group, I guess you could say. Or even our interests. Yeah. So I thought it was I initially going in as it was kind of going. I'm looking at it like, eh, this is kind of lame, dude. I gave it a chance. I let it go. And at the end, I landed on, okay, I I thought it was fine. You know, like that's kind of my, that would be my analysis. As middling as that is, it was fine. Yeah, it was fine. Um, it was not memorable. Like it's not something that I'm going to be telling, you know, telling little man about. Not right now. Uh, thank you, though. It's not gonna be something I'm telling Little Man about. It's, um... I would hope not. Yeah, definitely not. It, it, a couple things that I did like, and that I did kind of respect. One, I liked that LeBron, I mean, his digs were cheesy. We've talked about LeBron in the pod. I respect him. We'll talk about LeBron big picture. I respect him. I love him as a player, as a, as a person. I think he's a good humanitarian. I think that there's definitely, you know, he's interested in himself. So, I mean, people that want to get on him about the whole China thing and getting political, like, I understand if you want to criticize him for that. Um, but he's, he's corny. Like, I, as a player, fascinating. You know, if I was to meet him, I'm sure I'd get kind of starstruck, not even because I'm a huge fan, because um, I'm, I'm kind of, like, I like LeBron, but I'm not like, oh, I fucking love LeBron. I wouldn't get star. I, I feel like I might maybe get starstruck just because of his, you know, like prowess. Like, dude, you're like modern day Elvis, you know. Um, but I like that they kind of had people take digs at him during the movie. Like he wasn't so big that he couldn't be made fun of. But you know, they were talking about, oh, you know, he left for this team and this team and this team. Um, the jokes were corny. So like the the Anthony Davis thing with the brow that was bad. The, I'm sure like Kevin Hart, just an easy joke, you know. Uh, and like you said, it's made for kids, but it didn't really feel like they geared it towards kids necessarily. I mean, it was a child like a family movie for sure. But and I'm biting chances take on this. It was a, a huge Warner Brothers plug, and pretty much like an HBO Max commercial. Because you think about it, they, they had all of, you know, DC in there, right? With Batman and Superman. They even forced Harry Potter in there a couple of times. And, you know, all these different things. And I did kind of like the angle where LeBron's like, hey, we need to recruit somebody like Superman to play or King Kong. And they had all these, like, funny reasons, you know, or bugs screwed things up, whatever the case was. But it wasn't very memorable. And what my biggest knock on it, the thing that I, I hated was the whole, like, he's playing against his son thing. Like, that was lame, and it was just weird. I don't know if that was something like, oh, well, you know, one day, Bronny might be in the NBA. That'd be an interesting angle. But then that would have been the older son in the movie, right? That, that whole thing was just weird to me. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs>